Okay guys, welcome back to another segment of how to remove your rockers and lifters. So far we have narrowed it down to the rocker covers. We have removed the throttle bodies. We have removed the air cleaner. We have disconnected our batteries for safety. We have removed all the brackets that supported the throttle bodies. We have disconnected all the ignition coils and removed all the harnesses around the rocker covers. And now we are down to removing the rocker covers. Uh, so we have one bolt here in the back. We have one here, one here, one here, one here. One here, one here, one here, one there, one here, one in the middle, and one on the end. The only thing we have to do, besides removing these bowls, or removing this harness here. Now this harness here is just clipped in the rocker covers by this clip right here. Just gently pull it out, like that. And there's another one here, just pull it out right here and we are down to removing the rocker covers so we need a deep eight millimeter socket and we begin start removing these bolts remove your rocker covers these bolts here guys they are safety bolts they don't come out of the heads. They just come far enough. Once you loosen them up, they stays in there. See? It stays in there. And that's good because you don't have to worry about losing them. And here we go guys, this is your rocker covers, just removed, these are your seals.
that guys down to the more important part of this this is your exhaust camshaft and that's your intake camshaft these are your rockers 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 so you have six exhaust rockers and six intake rockers and the so guys it's going to be very important this is where you have to read that manual if you're going to do it to understand how to remove these camshaft gears these this is your chain right here and down here is a tension this tension I put tension on the chain that when the engine turns, both camshaft turns at the same time if one camshaft turns before the other that throws your timing off and that's why this cam position sensor is very important the ones that we showed you earlier that's why it's so important it's right in the middle that sends the signal between these two camshafts here and these cam phases here in relation to your timing these cam phases these are the sensors these are your camshaft phaser sensor and here's the other one this one here is your intake remember the mark I put on there earlier These are your camshaft phases right here. If you go forward, the camera. If you look at here, right here, you see. Can I look at it? Here's the, here's the exhaust, and here's the intake. I N and E X exhaust and your intake okay guys this is where it gets very very technical have to know what you're doing on this part here because I have to remove these caps that support these camshafts in order to remove these caps you have to release the tension on this chain right here right now it is so tight so stiff if you were to loosen up these cams bearings here this thing here may pivot because so much pressure in here it may pivot forward and if that happens that can actually damage your guide down there it can actually disconnect your chain here and that's a whole different ball game you may have to take off the timing cover to reset your timing and it's not something that I am bargaining for so I have to follow the procedure just the way the manufacturers design them to be so down to this point you're gonna need a special tool how to release the tension on this timing chain here before you do anything else before that you have to set the timing before you release the tension on this chain the timing has to be set there's a timing mark on these cam phases here has to be lined up with this mark here on the number one cam shaft cap right here and this one here and this exhaust and this intake and I will show you how to do that okay guys and um, so we're getting ready to Set the timing, make sure the timing mark is lined up before we uh, remove the cam phasers. Um, like I said, this is the intake cam phaser and this is the exhaust cam phaser. 
and this is the oil control valve right here it has a plunger that pushes in that's the exhaust and that's the intake and what really held on the cam phases to the camshaft is these oil control valves right here I got to loosen these up and take these off and then before I take these off I have to release the tension of this chain and if the camera can point down there here is the tension guide right here and down inside there there goes the tensioner so the tensioner is extended against the guard right here which is this black piece of device here and this guard here presses against the chain right here so in order to do that first you have to line up your timing so you have to turn that crankshaft down there I got the socket and breaker bar down there just to make sure that the timing is at the right spot what I'm looking for is these arrows right here this this arrow here on the intake and this arrow here on the exhaust must be pointed to each other right here just to verify that number one and number four cylinder here is number one cylinder and that's number four right here this side here got the ignition coil on there so you have two four and six you have one three and five on the left side and so we're going to make sure that number one and number four piston is at the top dead center now we can't see it on this side neither can I see it on this side unless I take the spark plugs out on the compression strokes and then I can tell that there is uh, the pistons is at the top dead center but um, another way to verify that is, is to make sure there on the left side of the engine these two arrows here are going to be point at each other as they are right now and on the camshaft you should have these holes should be straight right up and the mark on this side here on this camshaft here's this little mark here it should be aligned with this on the number one cap on the intake and on the number one cap on the exhaust just a hair away from the mark right here and what you do here that's the perfect way to tell if the timing is is really on the mark so what I'm going to do here is to get a little paint I have to get some and paint to make sure that the sprocket which is the cam phaser and the chain they are meshed I just put a little paint here just to make sure when I'm ready to put it back together uh, they all lined up and put a little paint on the number one intake cap that held down the camshaft and a little paint on the camshaft right here right here can you bring it over right here so I'm just gonna put a little paint in that and then once we have everything is lined up then I can loose up the oil control valves and then before I do that I have to release the tension on the chain now there's a special tools that I ordered through Amazon I'll show it to you right here Here's, this is the one that we're going to use for the um, Chrysler Panastar engine 3.6 this is the one that you're going to be used here and then on the, uh, the sprocket which is the cam phaser you have the left side which is this side of the engine and then you have your right side which is the opposite side of the engine the C shows right which is when you take this rocker cover off you're going to have the same timing chain and oil control valves and um, cam phasers on this side of the engine 
So this is going to be for that side. And this is what I'm going to be using on the, this side, which is the left side. And this right here, it is a tool that you use to release the, to unlock the tensioner down there. And once you unlock the tensioner, you can push these between the chain and the timing guard to release the tension of the chain. So when we loosen up on the cam phaser, I can easily slide it off the camshaft away from it. And then I can actually start loosening up these bolts and replace the rocker arms, all six, and the uh, under lifters. So we have six rocker arms. One, two, three, four, five, six on the intake side and six on the exhaust side. Three, four, five, six. Now we have six lifters. Once you remove the camshaft, you can you will see all the lifters. But for right now, before we do all that, I'm just a little ahead of myself. I s the timing is already set. I may have to turn it just a little bit to make sure that these arrows are point to each other and I can slide the camshaft phasers and unlock these in between here that I can loosen up on these oil regulator valves. So it's going to be a little process here, guys. So just there with the process. So first what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to make sure that I lock this inside here. And I have to turn it just a hair to get it slide in there. Um, is my Okay. Okay, there is an Okay. So Okay, guys. Now this is the cam phaser locking tools right here. It locks between the two cam phasers. It's kind of little fight it in there. And then the next thing you do here is to take this pin and slide it down in the cam timing chain tensioner
and you watch this down in there. Okay, just slide this down between here. See, and release the tension off there. See, so the ch now you can see the looseness on this chain right here. See, see. See how loose the chain is right there? Because now the tension is off the chain. So now we can loosen up on this cam. Phases here. Once we loosen up on it, then we can actually take this here out. So make sure that the arrows are still pointed in the same directions. Make sure that these holes are up and make sure that the this hole here is lines up with this line here on top of the number one camshaft cap. And this one here is just a little aft of the exhaust right here. And then you can loosen up on your oil regulator or control valve right here. Now, on this here, it takes a 13 millimeter, 36 millimeter, I believe, 36 millimeter uh, with a breaker bar. Let me get a little paint just to put on here and to verify my timing mark. That means when I take this cam shaft here, I release, remove all the lifters and put new ones in, I can actually put my cam phaser back to make sure my timing is aligned with the original mark. So, all right guys, so now I got my mark here. And a mark on the camshaft over here, a mark on the cap, a mark on the chain link, and a mark right here on the cam phaser. And I can make another mark here on this side, just enough for you to see how important it is. just for demonstration and this one here I'm going to mark this line right there the sprocket here and just a little slot right here So now I'm ready to loosen up my cam phaser. I'm going to hold it just to support the camshaft and turn this right here. So based on experience guys, it doesn't supposed to turn because you can see I'm supporting the camshaft right here while loosen up the cam phaser so it doesn't supposed to turn but I just only have this tool here just in case just in case something were not in place like I didn't have the right tools to support it then uh, this locking tool here is very important so this is your oil control valve right here on the intake side so we're going to do one side at a time 
I'm going to do the, uh, the intake side first. And once I put it together, then I work with the exhaust side. So this is your oil regulator valve right here. Guys, put this right here. And take this tool here now out. Now I take this tool here out. I can put it where I can have access to it. The tension is off the chain. Now I can take the cam phaser off, guys. See? Now the cam phaser can come off. See? It comes off just like that. This is the cam phaser. This little pointed device here goes up in your camshaft to make sure that it sits in there and it locks in there. So when I'm ready to put it back on, this mark right here is supposed to be lined up. This mark right here is supposed to be lined up with this tooth right here. Put this aside just for now. Okay, guys, uh, as I was saying before, that this is your intake cam phaser, and I have my mark. Here's the black mark along with this groove, and here's the manufacturer mark right here that little dot, and around here. So you can really go wrong if you follow the directions and um, that also align with this mark right here on the camshaft and also there's a mark that I did on the number one camshaft cap and also you look for these uh, holes sh should be vertically up once the number one and number four pistons um, at the top dead center on the compression strokes. So we should be good to put back together once we're ready to reinstall this cam phaser here. So put that aside. The next step we're going to do here, guys, is loosen up your camshaft cap bearings right here. And you don't have to worry about marking these because they're already manufacturer marked. And, um, Okay, I've already pre-loosened them just for the, the video's sake. Okay, this is number one. You can see this is the manufacturer label right there. That's number one. Put it right there. Number two, and you see the arrow, the arrow point forward towards the side, the right side of the vehicle. So you cannot really go wrong with it there.
whatever I can take the adjust for any accident for to take place. Number three, and then point to the right side of the vehicle, and that's number four. Let's see, point this way, which is on the right side of the vehicle. Now, the camshaft should be able to come right up. Thank you. 